Hey everybody, welcome to a new adventure for, uh, for me, I guess. <laughs> Hope you guys will enjoy the way. Um, just saying ahead of time, if you like, uh, please make sure you subscribe if you have not, and like the video and favorite if you so choose to. Uh, so this is Firestorm Fortress, adventure map created by, entirely by... Zachary, um, you are a hero. That's really all I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. I actually don't know if I should use this texture pack. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't. <laughs> um, so... I can't be peaceful, which I'm not, and I'm just looking forward to this map. So let's get started. Okay, game mode. I have to be in adventure mode, I think. This adventure map is designed for all types of Minecraft players. If you enjoy PvE, PvP, parkour, adventure, clever script, or just storylines in general, you are in for quite a treat. The story. You are a hero who has stumbled upon a town that has just experienced destruction beyond your understanding. As you learn of what happened, of what horrors they have had to deal with, prove yourself through their through your heroics. Important. Greetings. He's called interaction plates. If you see any of these anywhere, it blasts us up on them. Interaction plates are used for story script, and of course, redstone mechanics. Let this map. Good luck and have fun. Thank you. I'll let it try. Fragment of spirit. Okay. These are fragments of spirit that are used to point system for this bench map. The more you can find, the higher your final score is, of course. Okay. Another one. Cool. Let's go. It feels like I can already do a little bit of parkour here. Hardcore parkour. Okay, here's another chest. Please give me another one. Oh, three of them. So we have five. And more. <laughs> you really giving them, huh? This feels like something. No? No, okay. <laughs> that was all for nothing. Uh, you wonder what in the world happened to this poor village? Do I wonder that? Cantichi Village, Mayor. Hello. Oh my goodness, what a terrible thing. Who are you? And what has happened to this village? I'm the mayor... M M I'm the mayor... Miktaho. <laughs> of this village. Destroyed by a giant ball of fire that came from the sky. I can't explain it perfect... Oh jeez. Can't, can't explain it perfectly. And it may sound strange to you, but this destruction was foretold to us. It's really hard to read when it keeps going up. What? What do you mean it was foretold? Who did this? A monstrous creature from another world that came and threatened us to leave our village behind forever. We decided to say that the ball of fire came and destroyed the village. The village, the village shaman, shaman, and I hid when the monster came and took the others as slaves. Oh, you pussy. Wow. Where did this monster come from? Why did he do such a thing? Trust me. I'm quite confused about it myself. I'm so terrified right now. I have no idea who this monster was or why he did it. But maybe our shaman knows something I don't. Use, using his magic or whatever, he knows everything. Okay, where's the shaman? He's in the house just across, across from here, but be mindful. He doesn't take visit to visitors very well. Okay, well, before I do that, I want to explore a little bit more. I know there's a house I didn't see this way. Some house. Nope, not this way, I mean. Yes. Diary. And more of those. One day after Firestorm event. I don't understand but perhaps what has happened. Our village has been burned to the ground after a giant ball fire, fire fell from the sky. Mayor McTa... <laughs> I almost called him Taco. <laughs> McTaho is investigating the occurrence. Three Dave? 
Why? Three days. After conducting much investigation, the mayor has informed the villagers that this material is from another realm. Who could possess such power? Seven days. What's a Dave? Oh, <laughs> that's a Dave. We have begun rebuilding the village and destroying this strange ball of other worldly material. I may collect some for his research. Ten Dave. How strange. This material burns, and it burns, burns. It never extinguish. extinguishes. <laughs> Fourteen Dave. Lalo. Lolo, our village shaman, uh, has instructed us that we should not take this event lightly. He says we need to be cautious of our surroundings. Oh no. 20 days. We have finished building the village again, and the ball of fiery material has been cleared. 40 days. Oh my goodness, a creature from another world came to terrorize our village. It stated that. We better leave and never return, or our village will suffer yet again. I'm scared. 41 days. The creature came again. This time it stated that if we don't leave, it will destroy our village and take us all as slaves. Mayor McTaco. I'm just going to call him Taco. Mayor McTaco. Mayor McTaco tried reasoning with the monster and got his arm burned off. 53 days. Another fireball hit our village. Everything is ruined. The mayor and shaman have gone into hiding while the rest of the rest of the village errs are going to stand up to the monster when it comes. Damn that was long. And of course there's another house right over here. Another one. Thirteen. I think I'm doing pretty good for those. Uh, I never checked this house. There's nothing here. Just uh you know. And uh what is this? Is that the shaman place? Yeah. Okay. You take a deep breath before you enter shaman's house. Lalo. <laughs> ah, I knew you were coming. Shaman, I was told that... Yes, I knew that you were told. Let me be quick to tell you that I, I doubt you are ready for the challenge ahead. I am ready. Please, let me prove it to you. Very well. I will give you a test and determine... Your if you are the one to save our villagers, please step outside. This way? Remember, once you embark on this adventure, there's no turning back. I hear zombies. <gasps> there's a zombie. One zombie. Why won't you die? There you go. Was that it? Okay. You might actually be the one to save our villagers. Oh. <laughs> hmm, but perhaps you're better than I thought. Very well. I will meet you outside. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. The spirit of nature tells me that the monster reigns over a massive fortress called Firestorm. This fer this fortress houses creatures of death and destruction. You will use the train here to get to the hideout near the fortress. Good luck. Can I have some food? I'd like some food. Kitachi Station. Station, right? Yeah. Okay. That was a weird death. 41... 41? 41 line northbound. Oh, it's you. Lilo told me you were leaving. I just wanted to wish you good luck. I hope you can save my people before the monster does anything bad with them. Please be careful. Some more of these. Of course. I'm going to just take both of them just in case. Let's go. We. Tiny village. Uh, bigger than than the villages, I guess. Oh, like that one. <laughs> Whoa. Why did I have to ride a minecart? 
I think I'm gonna run faster if I just ran there. <laughs> oh wait, am I stopping here or are we going? Ditaki. What's with all these weird names? Please help us. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming. Hello. Nice. I don't have uh, fish though. Okay, I'm here. What do, what do you need help with? <gasps> Food! Uh, do I actually have to be here, or no? Okay, here's a chest. So it's possible I have to be here. What do you want? Mm. Hmm. Looks like a world edit to me. <laughs> Not world edit, MC edit. I like the same thing, though. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. Oh, hold on. No, there's stuff here. Ruka's poems. What? Okay. Uh, I love my granddad. <laughs> what? My grandpa. So is this... I love my granddad. I love my granddad, he is the best. He may be an old lad, but he's the best in the West. He always protects me. And I know I know he is strong. Always love but he does no wrong. Ponies. I look to the right, I look to the left, I see ponies fight, I might commit pony theft. What? <laughs> the fuck? Well, I can actually Mayor Wuchu. That beast took my granddaughter, Ruka. Can you help save her? That was terrible. I did like four different voices there. And there's a chicken in the pool. What am I doing, actually? Okay, I don't know where I'm going, though. Ugh. Oh, I want to get in there. There's the, uh, chist goal. Here we go. Oh, potion of night vision. That might be in handy. Bam, bam. <laughs> you don't think they'd be in the furnaces, do you? I don't. Ugh. Whoa. Might need this sunflower. I feel like they're just giving me crap. No, go away. I'm trying to get in. Ugh. Um, is that it? Oh, here we go. Old man Smokey. Damn. Those damn creatures trying to act out tough. Pfft. I kicked them where it counts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hunting pelt. You're weird. Well, I guess that's it for this town. I mean, I don't really see... I mean, I guess I can check everywhere. That place I ain't checking, though. <laughs> you got anything? Oh, was that first guy I talked, looked at? Hmm. I've been there. Hmm. We don't get anything in there. There's a flower in here. Huh. Okay, here we go. Some grass in there too, that's weird. Okay, well I guess I'm down here. There's a thing here. I don't really want to stay off the path. Pfft. Okay, let's go. Let's go to wherever we're supposed to go. We.
make it in. Oh. <laughs> you gotta right click though. <laughs> Here we go. Z uh, can't wait to get the firestorm. Dangerous. Epic. Goodbye, Ditaki Village. Right? Uh, where are we going? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, is this just another village? Chunhak. You're our only hope. I hope so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright. Okay. Okay, there's some crap down there. Okay, here we go. Yes. Sheep. Puffer fish and food. Mer kun hun. Mer kuha. Kun ha? Oh, wow. My village is ruined. Please, hero, hammer this monster's head into the ground and crush his brain. I will do so. Melons. Oh, melons. Oh, I can't break it. Oh. Did I get whatever in this chest? Yes. Oh, duh, I just got food. Okay, up here is a chest. It's like a rainbow. Just kidding. It's like an arc. Nothing in here. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> that cheek. Oh, here we go. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, did they make it? So the blacksmith didn't have any chests. I wonder if he made these villages. Because they're all close together, you know? Well, maybe not, because he did that, uh. For, uh. Well, I don't really know. I need to get through. Okay, there we go. Nice. Whoa, okay. So, do I go down here? Hope not. But I always could. What's down here? This is a cave. I don't really think I should be going down here. Let's go back up. Well, this might take a while. <laughs> um. So yeah, when are we gonna get to the the fortress? <laughs> it just seems like we're going to villages, and they're all the same fate. I checked those. How? Yeah, I opened. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Almost st a stack of those. There's some. Oh no. Got uh, no. I don't like put that in here. Okay, is there just in here? Nope. It's a uh, chest. Nope. Not fire. Uh, actually, hold on. Now that I think about it, where are all the villagers here? I don't look like anything is in there. Oh, here's some. There's one. Actually, I hear a few. How can I get in this building? Oh my gosh. Where the heck is the entrance? Well, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I found the entrance, but... Uh, I don't look like anything's in there. Oh, jeez. Hello. And last building to check. Yes. Nope, now we gotta put you down here. There we go. What the heck is over there? Well, I guess we better go back up, huh? This village... I didn't like. <laughs> Did I... 
Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Bye-bye.